Hi guys, today I'm going to review a very handy USB diagnostic tool that I use not only to diagnose USB ports, but it also helps me to test smartphones, chargers, power banks, and so on. So, this is multifunction USB power tester, which comes with this USB load resistor, and you can buy it for 6 bucks with free shipping, the link in description below. Using this device you can check the voltage, power, battery capacity, load resistance, charging temperature, and the current draw of USB devices. This is input and output USB ports, a little button for device calibration, data reset, and to cycle through the different screen modes. Ok, if you plug it into your laptop or USB charger, you'll get the voltage output from that USB port. Now let's plug something into the output port, I got my phone over here. As you can see now, we are getting current and power readings. 0.6 amps charging current and I'm pulling about 3 watts. And this is USB 3 port, which provides up to 0.9 amps or 900 milliamps, while USB 2 port only up to 500 milliamps. So USB 3 port will charge your device almost two times faster, even if it's USB 2 device. On this screen you can see power in watts, watt hours, temperature, milliamp hours transferred to my phone, and timer. On the next screen you can see the load resistance and voltage of all four USB pins. And here you can adjust your screen's backlight. It also has a memory function, so if you unplug and plug it back in, you don't lose all your data. To clear it, just hold the button for a few seconds. If you want to check the true battery capacity, you have to discharge your battery to 0% and then charge up to 100%. Here's the battery capacity in milliamp hours or how many milliamp hours you've pushed through to your device and charging time. You can also check your chargers and power banks because very often they can't provide the current that the label claims. For example, this Samsung charger claims 1 amp and as you can see it's real. Let's try more, 1.7 amps, but the voltage drops to 4 volts, a little more, and it goes into protection mode. Next my power bank, 1 amp, no problems, 2 amps, no problems either. I'm just curious about this USB wall outlet, it says 2100 milliamps. Oh, look at the voltage, 5.00 volts. Ok, it's 1 amp and it makes light voltage drop. 2.1 amp, the voltage is ok. What if I'll give you more? 2.3 amps and significant voltage drop. Looks like it's the best charger in my house. Different cables are also going to charge your device at different rates. USB cables with thicker gauge wire will charge faster, while extra long USB cables with smaller gauge wire will charge below the maximum rate. And now try to imagine how many hours you will charge your device.